Chinese turkeys only slightly resemble their ancestors. The wild turkeys the American pilgrims feasted on at their first Thanksgiving in 1621. Those turkeys weighed no more than six kilograms. Today, these males, called toms, can weigh up to 36 kilos. The wild turkeys are pretty scrawny compared to today's birds. Julie Long is a leading scientist on turkey reproduction at the Agricultural Research Service of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Through natural selection, the turkey breeders have developed birds that have very large breast muscle yield and the birds grow very large. That selection began decades ago when consumers started favoring bigger birds with more breast meat. By the 1960s, the poultry industry had begun to artificially inseminate so-called broad-breasted white turkeys. All of the turkeys in the United States are produced by artificial insemination, and it takes a lot of time. Artificial insemination of turkeys became required for many reasons. One is productivity. The other has to do with weight. Watch these turkeys. The smaller one in the front is the female, about 11 kilos. The large ones in the back are males, more than double her weight at 32 kilos. As the males grew larger breasts, that interfered with their ability to mate. If they did not perform AI, artificial insemination, the turkey indus industry would begin to wane because fertility through natural mating is very low. Morre Basque is an expert on reproduction in birds at the USDA. He says turkey, a good source of protein, has become a fast-growing international industry. Right now in the industry, the incubation capacity is huge. Hatcheries that will hatch out a million eggs in a week. In just one day, on November 25th, 45 million turkeys will be served for the traditional Thanksgiving meal. At the research facilities of the Department of Agriculture, the incubator can hold hundreds of eggs. Sue Rossoff manages the hatchery. The turkey eggs stay in here for 25 days, and on the 25th day, we transfer them to the hatchers, which are in the other room. Before moving to the hatchery, the eggs are checked to make sure they have been fertilized. So there's no development in that first egg, but at this egg, the embryo is seven days old. Three days before they are expected to hatch, the eggs are transferred to the hatchery. That one just hatched, but watch closely, this chick is about to be born. While he breaks through the shell, we can hear him and feel him move. These chicks are being closely monitored for research on the effectiveness of artificial insemination and their resistance to disease. Recently, the USDA and 28 other institutions finished mapping the turkey genome. Dr. Julie Long. The turkey genome is basically like a road map, or maybe you could say a textbook to the turkey. Using the genetic map, turkeys may be further fine-tuned to feed a human population growing every day. This is Sulima Palacio, VOA News.